It was supposed to be the end of an era. In 2017, the world bid farewell to Cassini, the spacecraft that had danced for years in the shadow of Saturn. With unmatched elegance, it had painted the portrait of a gas giant that, until then, had been nothing more than a blurry enigma to Earth-bound observers. We celebrated its accomplishments, honored its silent service, and finally watched it plunge into Saturn's atmosphere in a fiery farewell. But what if we were wrong to think it was the end? What if, in those last moments, Cassini saw something so extraordinary that the data had to be buried, obscured under the pretext of non-essential telemetry? And what if that hidden truth has only now come to light, not through the hands of scientists, but through the cold, analytical mind of a new AI designed to see what humans overlook? The final image taken by Cassini before its death wasn't just a scientific snapshot. It was a message, one encoded within layers of seemingly random data, a message we were never meant to find. But now that we have, it might be too late to turn away. In the final weeks of its mission, Cassini was ordered to dive between the planet and its innermost rings, a region never before explored by any spacecraft. The maneuver was bold, dangerous, and historic. Each pass through the gap sent Cassini slicing through a torrent of dust and debris at incredible speeds, recording gravitational anomalies and sampling the magnetic environment, all while transmitting a continuous stream of data back to Earth. As the mission neared its end, NASA engineers prepared for the final plunge, a terminal descent that would send Cassini deep into Saturn's atmosphere, where friction and pressure would eventually destroy it. In those last hours, the spacecraft followed a precise protocol, capturing high-resolution images of Saturn's cloud tops and atmospheric bands. One of these images, filed away without analysis, was a wide-angle shot of the planet's south pole, taken just moments before contact was lost. At the time, there was nothing unusual about it. But 27 pixels, yes, only 27, held a configuration that didn't match the atmospheric patterns surrounding them. To the human eye, they were nothing. But to an advanced pattern recognition AI years later, they were everything. Fast forward to the present day. In a quiet lab far from the public eye, a new quantum artificial intelligence system known as Aegis was being trained on deep space datasets to search for structural anomalies, not just in visual data, but in the underlying mathematical relationships hidden beneath the pixels. As a test, Cassini's archive was fed into the system, thousands of images, most of which had already been catalogued, studied, and deemed unremarkable. But when Aegis analyzed that one final image, the very last Cassini had ever taken, it flagged it instantly, not because of what it could see, but because of what the image implied. The highlighted region, initially thought to be an atmospheric swirl, revealed an array of symmetric distortions, unlike anything produced by Saturn's turbulent weather. These weren't artifacts or compression errors. They had structure. Aegis constructed a three-dimensional model of the distortion using spectral data embedded in the image, and what it generated was not a storm, not a vortex, but a geometric lattice hovering just above Saturn's cloud deck, something that looked eerily deliberate, like a signature, or worse, a surveillance node camouflaged in the chaos of a gas giant. The AI's reconstruction raised alarms across the small team of scientists monitoring the analysis. The structure revealed by Aegis wasn't just symmetrical, it conformed to what's known in theoretical physics as a non-Euclidean toroidal array, a configuration often associated with energy distribution in advanced propulsion systems. In simpler terms, this thing didn't behave like any known atmospheric feature, and it certainly wasn't natural. The distortion also exhibited a persistent frequency echo in the radio bands Cassini had been monitoring during its descent, a signal that had previously been dismissed as noise. But Aegis detected harmonic modulation, an artificial fingerprint, suggesting that the object wasn't just passive. It was emitting something. Communication? Energy? Surveillance? No one could say for sure, but what terrified the team was the realization that this object, or construct, had been present the whole time Cassini orbited Saturn, yet it never triggered any alarm. Perhaps because it was designed not to. Perhaps because it wanted to be seen only when we were ready to understand.
In the days following the discovery, researchers began to revisit old telemetry and low-frequency recordings from Cassini's descent. They found something chilling. In the last 19 seconds of transmission, Cassini had captured a rhythmic pulse, barely distinguishable from background noise, resonating in exact synchronization with the planet's magnetosphere. At first, it was dismissed as a byproduct of plasma interactions, but after overlaying the waveform with the structure Aegis had generated, the signal aligned perfectly with the spatial dimensions of the supposed construct. In other words, the signal and the structure were connected. Perhaps one was even powering the other. What's more, the pulse contained embedded phase shifts that, when decoded, produced a fractal waveform eerily similar to those found in early Voyager data near Jupiter. The implications were too vast to ignore. If the Cassini image truly revealed an intelligently designed object embedded within Saturn's atmosphere, and if that object was transmitting signals echoing Voyager's path, then we may be looking at something not bound to Saturn alone, but something watching, tracking, and perhaps responding. As researchers pored over the final data packets from Cassini's descent, one frame stood out. Not because it was clearer, or even stranger in the conventional sense, but because it didn't belong. A perfectly aligned visual artifact that couldn't be replicated in adjacent frames. At first, it was dismissed as a glitch, a failure in the compression software or an anomaly caused by Saturn's radiation belts. But when digital forensics experts ran the image through independent systems, the result was the same. The image was consistent across all formats, all compressions, all renderings. It was as if Cassini had captured something that only lasted for a fraction of a second, something that had no business being there, hovering just beneath Saturn's cloud deck. And when the anomaly was mapped against Cassini's position and angle, the geometry didn't match the natural horizon. It seemed deliberate, artificial. Something was there, if only briefly. And it made scientists ask a chilling question. Did Cassini capture something that didn't want to be seen, or something that was waiting for us to look? But the human eye can only go so far. It wasn't until a team of data analysts fed Cassini's raw footage into an emergent AI model trained on anomaly detection that the picture began to shift, literally. The AI didn't just enhance the contrast or clean the noise, it recognized patterns, structures, symmetries that were statistically improbable in any naturally forming cloud system. The image sharpened, and what emerged sent shivers through the room. A faint but unmistakable hexagonal outline, matching no known geological or meteorological feature on Saturn. What's more, the shape wasn't part of Saturn's well-known hexagonal storm at the pole. It was in a completely different quadrant, drifting at a layer that should have been devoid of solid matter. The AI flagged the shape as consistent with engineered architecture, that's the exact phrase the lead scientist later used in a leaked audio log, engineered architecture. If true, then Cassini may not have just ended its mission diving into Saturn's atmosphere. It may have found the reason it had to end. What happened next was perhaps the most disturbing development of all. Silence. Absolute, total, strategic silence. The data was pulled from public servers. Mentions of the final anomaly vanished from official reports. The AI team working with the footage suddenly stopped releasing updates. Some researchers were reassigned. Others, according to insiders, were asked to sign amended NDAs. The few screenshots that had circulated online were branded as misinterpretations or simulation errors. But digital footprints remained. Backups, logs, whispers from within the halls of research institutions. Why the sudden shutdown? If the anomaly was a mistake, why not explain it in detail and put the matter to rest? But they didn't. Instead, every step taken seemed designed to bury the image deeper. And if you listen closely, in every statement that's come since, there's one phrase they never once used. Debunked. That absence is louder than any denial could be. Cassini was built to rewrite our understanding of Saturn, and in that, it succeeded beyond measure. But now, with this hidden image rising from its digital grave, we're faced with the possibility that its legacy has only just begun. 
For decades, the scientific community has drawn a line between natural wonders and speculative fiction, between astronomy and imagination. But this image, this frame suspended between data corruption and disclosure, forces us to redraw that line. If what Cassini saw was real, then our models of Saturn, of planetary systems, of intelligent presence within our own solar system, may need more than an update. They may need a complete reset. The spacecraft that began its journey as an ambassador of science may have finished it as a messenger of something far older and far more prepared than we ever imagined. Cassini's mission ended in a blaze of brilliance, diving into the gas giant it spent over a decade studying. But what we now realize is that this was not a simple descent. It was a burial. A burial of information so delicate, so paradigm-shifting, that it had to be swallowed by the very planet it observed. The image it sent, the final flicker of data embedded within a sea of noise, may not just be the last photograph of Saturn. It may be the first glimpse of something entirely new, something hidden in plain sight all along. What if Cassini, a machine of pure science and discovery, was silenced at the precise moment it was about to speak the loudest? What if that image wasn't an accident, but a whisper? A whisper from Saturn, or from something watching Saturn. And now, we are left with a question that refuses to go away. What did we just see? Was it natural chaos frozen into a shape by chance? Or was it a signature, left by someone or something, waiting for our eyes to finally evolve enough to see it? The silence from the agencies, the sudden removal of data, the AI findings that were never officially addressed, all of it suggests a truth so unsettling that it challenges the very boundaries of what we believe space exploration truly is. If this hidden image is what we think it is, then Cassini didn't just send back science, it sent back a warning. And now, it's up to us to decide what we do with it. So, what do you think Cassini saw in those final seconds? Let us know in the comments because your opinion might just help decode what the world isn't ready to admit. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to keep uncovering what lies beneath the stars, because the universe is watching back.